Glory to God. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you for joining us on the Sunday morning worship service. I pray you had a blessed week. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. Just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. I just want to say thank you so much for joining us once again in worship. I thank God for your anointing and the way you bless Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, light is shining through you. And I thank God, doesn't this world need it, family? Amen. Doesn't this world need his light, his presence to just be flowing mightily? And praise God, God has you where you're at. Amen. Praise God. Say it with me, I carry the blessing. Say that with me, like you mean it with all your heart. As if this was the first time that you're going to say it. For some of you, it may be the first time. Amen. But in Jesus' name, before we even start, before we do anything, God says right now, he wants to hear it come from the Holy of Holies from within. He wants to hear it come from his blood, his blood-bought child. He wants to hear it come from his beloved daughter, from his beloved son. Amen. Say it with me. I am a blessing. Amen. Say it with me. I carry the blessing. Say it with me. I am the cure. Say it with me. I am healed. Say it with me. I am saved. Say it with me. I am chosen. Say it with me. I am a beloved child of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, give your family a high five. Praise God. Listen, we're going to worship. Amen. We're going to get excited. We're going to have just a great time as we normally do in all of our worship services. Praise the Lord. Oh, I'm so thankful. Rejoice, family. Hallelujah. Rejoice. This isn't our world. This isn't life. Amen. Even as I stand here speaking to this camera, this isn't life. But glory to God, we were created to give God praise. To lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ. To allow agape. Come on, church. Agape. To allow agape to flow from the Holy of Holies. Right? In the way we speak, in the way we see, in what we hear. This is how agape flows now. Amen? I know some of you are like, well, Brother Joe, you, you spoke of some things that things can come in. Listen, when you have the presence of Holy Spirit in your life, God will block the distractions. God will. God is the only one faithful. Amen? He will change the way you see things. Amen? He will go in your past. Hallelujah. And through his blood and his blood alone, Lord Jesus Christ, he will erase things that hurt you. Amen. He will erase things. And glory to God, he loves us. Amen. Say it with me. God is head over heels in love with me. Amen. Our worship service this morning is titled, Peace Be With You. Can you say that? If you're by yourself, just say it out loud. If you're with somebody, look them in the eyes in Jesus' name. And can you tell them, peace be with you. Amen. Hallelujah. There's power in the words you speak, child of God. All because Jesus Christ is Lord. Remember, the anointing power is in you. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit's hovering. Amen. So when you're looking at your loved one, when you're looking at your children, your pets, I don't know who you're looking at. But when you look at him and you look in the eyes and you say, peace be with you. Glory to God. That's the anointing of God Almighty speaking agape peace. Speaking Holy Spirit. Amen. And that anointing comes on you like never before in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Praise God. So let's get started with this. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Peace be with you. Hallelujah. Glory to God, there is nothing like Holy Spirit peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. We're going to be in two books. We're going to be in Ephesians 6, verse 15, and we're going to spend all our time in there. And Holy Spirit wants to sum it up in Romans 15, verse 13. Amen. Peace be with you. Praise God. In Ephesians 6, verse 15, starts off, says, And with your feet fitted. Now, I need to pause right there because this is how Holy Spirit wants to address this message and how he wants to, to just flow. Glory to God. Say that with me. Flow. Hallelujah. Overflow. Overflow in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, have your way. Amen. Now, when you talk about feet fitted, immediately what Holy Spirit showed me 
was this picture that you see on the screen. Have you ever been uh, 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 fitted for shoes? Uh, amen? <laughs> yes, I'm a simple man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit lives in and through me. Amen? I am the beloved child of God. Hallelujah. And I don't know if you ever had this done. Uh, I don't really know of too many places that do it other than for, um, for runners, you know, if you're getting custom shoes. But what I love about this contraption is that it, it checks the measurement, the width and the length of your foot, right? And, and I love this because Holy Spirit showed that immediately as far as feet fitted, that it's a custom appli application, right? It's customized, it's tailored specifically for you. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? See, this is the word of God now. Hallelujah. This is our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. See, God didn't make robots. Right? God made you as a masterpiece. You are fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. Amen? And every one of us is unique. Every one of us is different. Amen? See, I can never tell you what to do. I can never tell you how to be. See, the, the glory of God is, is that as you worship Lord Jesus Christ, amen, and your feet is fitted in the gospel, right? I'm not trying to jump ahead, but when your feet is fitted, amen, in your worship life, in your anointing, giving praise to God, thankful for Lord Jesus, amen, choosing to rejoice, rejoice, right? You're choosing, it's a choice, right, family? It's a choice. You look at everything going on in this world, it's easy to be crunchy, right? It's easy to be stressed out. It's easy to worry. Come on now, it's easy to worry. It's easy to get caught up in all, but I will tell you the fight, Say with me, fight. The fight is, I choose to rejoice. Hallelujah. And God knows what you're facing. Why? Because God has already gone before you. And so I love this word when God says right away, feet fitted. Amen. So how is, how is your feet, beloved family, may I ask you, how is your feet fitted in the gospel? Amen. Because can I confess to you? Early, early, early on, when I, when I first got saved, right? Religion, and I'm not putting the blame on religion because I, I have to add, own up to, to my pride, right? I have to own up to my shortcomings. My, I cannot be in denial, amen? I have to own up and go, well, I, I was deceived because I was chasing after things to just satisfy me, not Holy Spirit. And so what happened early on in my relationship, being a Christian, is I tried to fit my foot, I tried to fit my foot in other people's shoes, in other people's gospel. Right? May I just confess that to you? And guess what? Sometimes the, the shoe wouldn't even stay on. I take a few steps and boom, there it goes, right? And sometimes it hurt. Toes got all like this, right? And, that, and that's what God is saying right off the bat right now. With your feet fitted. The reason why we have to pause and, and this is where Holy Spirit has led us as a church body in Holy Spirit anointing is God is not only equipping us to do a mighty good work through him, but also God is equipping us with the weapons of warfare. Amen? And it's, it, it's very important, it's very important that we have our feet fitted before we move on. Praise God. So we're going to get into this. With your feet fitted, and say this with me, custom. Hallelujah. I like this word custom because it's a custom application. It's tailored to me. Above the screen, you can see that the image changed to a, a, little, a little plank that was planted in the ground. Glory to God. A little plank, right? And what I like to say is planted. Amen. Say that word with me, planted. With your feet fitted, it's a custom fit. Remember, because you are unique. You are God's masterpiece. God is for you and God loves you. Some of you right now are watching going, you just don't know what I've done. You don't know I've been running away. Then stop. Right there, stop. Because Holy Spirit in you is saying, stop running, my child. Today is the day. 
Will you receive me? Will you open your heart and say, Jesus Christ, I make you my Lord and my Savior? I'm done. And what will happen is agape, oh, hallelujah. Agape will just wrap himself around you in your custom fitting. Amen? In a tailored suit. Hallelujah. I don't have one of them, but I, I watch movies. I see how they get custom tailors and all that stuff. Praise God. I'm not limiting God. Maybe one day. Amen? <laughs> but say that with me. Feet fitted, custom, planted. Hallelujah. Custom, planted. Amen? With the readiness. Are you ready? Hallelujah. Are you ready? See, when Holy Spirit delivered this message this morning, I asked God, I said, well, it just seems like we're going to be in just um, in, two, in two books, two verses. And Holy Spirit says, and? And I said, hallelujah. Amen. Complete surrender. And now I understand why. Because I'll tell you right now, I was struggling because I didn't know as far as how much of it was going to be addressed having to do with the spiritual armory. Amen. You know what I'm talking about, the belt of truth, right? Amen. The shield of faith, breastplate righteousness. I, I thought I was going to do all that. And God says, no, we're not talking about that. What we are addressing right now is having your feet fitted and being ready. And I said, okay, Lord. And this is the image that God showed me as far as for his beloved church. You know what I love is that when you have your feet fitted for them custom running shoes, right? You put on those shoes and you know, yep, these are the shoes. I'm not a runner. I used to. I used to run quite a bit. But you know, you've got those shoes on. You're like, oh, these are them. They feel good, right? And this is what I love in this picture right here. You just see this athlete. And that is with your feet. You can see his feet is ready, right? In position, ready, planted, amen? In his custom shoes, amen? Hallelujah. And then you can see, I'm ready. And when you're ready, you're waiting, right? You're waiting for that sound to go off. To just, boom, it's time to go. Amen? Are you ready? Hallelujah. Are you ready for a blessing? Amen? Are you ready for a breakthrough in Jesus' name? Amen? Are you ready for his peace to flood your heart like never before? Glory to God. I am too. Amen? I can feel what Holy Spirit's doing. I'm just so excited. Say this word with me. Set. Hallelujah. Set. Glory to God, set, ready, set, go, hallelujah. And with the readiness, and I love this with this, with this tree. I love this with this tree. Because the way this tree just shows is how being rooted is important. Amen? And with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. And this is our entire scripture in Ephesians 6, 15. Your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Now when we remove the scripture, notice what's on the screen. I don't know if it's big enough for you to see it. But it just shows what an athlete goes through as far as training. Right? And why is it important to show this to you as far as what a runner goes through? Because remember, we're using examples. You know, Lord Jesus Christ loved to use parables, stories. Right? And how he ministered the gospel. And how he ministered, ushered the kingdom of heaven. Right? For the anointing to overflow into his church, into his body. Amen? And we do the same thing as we worship Lord Jesus Christ. And we lift up his name. Hallelujah. We lift him up. Praise God. And as we lift his name on high, the same applies. Holy Spirit teaches us and anoints us with this fresh anointing. Amen? With this fresh revelation of how it applies to the Holy of Holies within as a beloved child of God. Amen. And so I love looking at this picture because you just see all these things. You know, you see, you see the Pilates, you see the biking, the swimming. You got the weights right there, right? And this is just a, a limited amount of information what an athlete may go through. It, it all varies, correct? Because you just know that they're, they're going through physical training, right? For that race. And what I love is God showed me that this is a gospel to an athlete. And what the gospel is... It's training. It's the gospel of training, right? I mean, really, that's, that, that's, that's what they live, breathe, preach, and demonstrate, right? Any athlete, any bodybuilder, you know, you can see as far as the, you can see the fruits as far as the worship that goes pertaining to that gospel. 
Can I get an amen? You see, the thing that Holy Spirit wants to expose, if we may expose, is that if a child of God is, is struggling with a certain thing, no judgment, just to allow Holy Spirit to flow, amen, say it with me, peace, peace overflows in me, amen? And when you worship Lord Jesus Christ, and then he shows that if you're actually doing something that goes against him, what is it? Well, it's something that has deceived you that tries to, right, mimic a, either a pleasure, right, some kind of sensory in the mind, right? It tries to trigger as far as maybe dopamine or, or a euphoric stage in the brain, right? Something that's trying to be a counterfeit of what God only intended and what he only intended is for Lord Jesus Christ to occupy that area in your life so that Holy Spirit can flow without any hindrance, right? Without, you know, without pride or disobedience. So what God is doing right now is he's, he's exposing as far as if there is something that is going on, that thing, right? That distraction has gone into the child of God and now it has made that child double-minded. And it's in that double-minded state where I'm just going to keep on doing this because... Nobody found out yet. Well, I'm just going to keep doing this because it ain't hurting anybody but me. I'm talking about a child of God now. You got Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is your Lord and you're doing something and you think that you're just hurting you. No. Where does Holy Spirit live? Amen. You're actually hurting the Lord Jesus Christ. And see, it's moments like this where you can either just get mad at the preacher Right? Just get mad, turn off, the, turn off YouTube, turn off the TV, whatever you're doing, and go, he don't know what he's talking about. But I want to tell you what God is showing is that when your feet is fitted and it's not in the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ, it can easily consume you if you allow it. Say it with me, no more. Hallelujah. No more in Jesus' name. Amen. The same thing goes for this tree. And I love it because God wanted to show as far as a runner, amen, and I just find that suitable because we all run the race, amen, praise God, we all run it, hallelujah, or a tree, right? And don't you love it because Lord Jesus Christ is known as the seed of God, amen, the seed of God, amen. And you look at this tree, and this is the gospel of roots, right? Look at that now. Isn't that amazing? That when you look at the gospel of roots, a tree is just a tree, and it just plants it, right? You just plant a tree, and it just grows. As it's planted there, it doesn't know as far as what's going on. All the roots just go out, and it just stays put. Can I get an amen? It stays put. It stays right there. Hallelujah. No matter what, no matter what the season is, right? No matter what happens, it stays put. Put. Amen. And I know these are these are one of those no dumb moments, and I pray that you're laughing because it's like it's a tree, Brother Joey, okay. But I need you to really examine and look at this picture of how big that root system is, amen. So say it with me. Feet fitted and planted, right? We covered that. And then we said set, being set, being ready, and rooted. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? This is the gospel. Now, when we talk about the gospel, the gospel of Christ, automatically it should be news, good news, good news, say it with me, good news of victory, amen? And this is the same goes for a runner. A runner runs to get a prize, amen? A, a tree, a fruit tree is planted in order to produce, amen, fruit, amen? So you see these two things that... Uh, the runner runs for a prize, amen? Apostle Paul was great in preaching that and teaching that. I know it's all Holy Spirit, but it's just amazing, right? Fight the good fight, run the race, right? And then, of course, what Lord Jesus Christ taught in parables as far as the kingdom of heaven being like that seed, amen? That seed that produces fruits. Glory to God. See, this gospel of peace, it's such a mighty thing to know. That when you're planted and you're rooted and then you produce fruits, we're just going to use the example. We're going to switch gears and we're going to use the example of the tree. When you're planted, you establish roots 
and you produce fruit. Hallelujah. This is the same that applies to Lord Jesus Christ. See, Lord Jesus Christ, the seed left heaven. Can I get a hallelujah? The seed of God. See, can you imagine God taking his seed, right? God's hand. He has a seed. And he puts it on earth. Hallelujah. And right there being rooted, that seed dies. Amen. That seed was crucified. It died a horrible death for you and me. And glory to God, the anointing. Say his name, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit resurrected that seed. Amen. And that's the fruits. Galatians 5, 20, he talks about the fruits of Holy Spirit in you and in me. Hallelujah. And this is the gospel that you're looking at on the screen. The life, death, and resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ. This is what we call the gospel of peace. Amen. Say that with me. Peace. So when you know that you're planted in agape, when you know that you're planted in agape, who is agape? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. When you know that God loves you, hallelujah, I know that's an obvious statement, but you know that he's no longer God, he is Father God. He is our Father, amen? You see what I'm saying? See, this whole world knows. Even the atheists, I don't care who they are, they know there's a God. Because you know why? The Bible says, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That means every soul knows there is a God, amen? The difference with us, agape. He is our Father. Hallelujah. Say that with me, Daddy. Amen. Just like that, Daddy. Hallelujah. When you're planted in agape, when you know that my Father God loves me because Lord Jesus Christ loves me, He forgave me. And Lord Jesus Christ died for me and took my old self in Him. I died with Christ. Holy Spirit loves me. He resurrected me in Christ. And Holy Spirit lives in me because I am a beloved child of God. That is planted in agape. When you're planted in agape, you are rooted in Christ. When I say rooted in Christ, beloved church family, it means crucifying the flesh, hallelujah, crucifying thoughts, repenting, amen, continuously repenting, and allowing Holy Spirit, say his name, Holy Spirit, to flood the Holy of Holies. This is a relationship with our God now. This is our Heavenly Father. This is what God always wanted from the time he created Adam and Eve. To fellowship. Amen? To fellowship. To be intimate with one another. To just... To just share everything. Amen. And it's when you share with God this way. You are rooted in Christ. Because you prove. Say with me. Prove. That's one thing that I rebuke in Jesus name. I heard someone not too long ago say. I don't need to prove anything. Jesus is my Lord. Yes you do. Faith without works is dead. Can I hear an amen? And the mighty work is in you. His name is Holy Spirit. Faith is Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Faith has a name. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. He is the perfect one. Hallelujah. He did the perfect work. Amen. And we receive him. We receive faith. Say with me, faith. So we have this faith of God knowing that the word of God lives in us. Now, Holy Spirit in the inside. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit will speak to us, will teach us, will guide us, protect us. Amen? We'll discern every situation. When we're disobedient or we do wrong, Holy Spirit lets us know, you didn't have to do that, my child. That hurt me. Right? And right away, I'm so sorry, Father. I'm so sorry, Father God. Forgive me. I don't want to be that way, Father. I submit it to you. I submit that thought to you, Father God. I submit what I just did. I shouldn't have done that, Father. I don't want to do it no more. But I want to give you glory, honor, and praise, Father God. Because in this moment right now, I know that I'm washed by your blood. 
And I know that as I thank you, my feet right now are being fitted. Hallelujah. Agape. That I am fitted. And Father, I'm ready now to move forward. I'm ready because I've repented and I've dropped to my face, to my knees. And I've let everything go. I let it all go, Father. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you go before me. In Jesus' name, amen. And of course, that leads us. When you're rooted in Christ, you're rooted this way in your identity as a beloved child of God. That whatever comes your way, whatever comes with your way, right? It's not a matter of being right now, right or wrong. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. What matters is, is being obedient to God, amen? And when you're obedient to the anointing of Lord Jesus Christ, right? Lord Jesus Christ led by example, amen? Lord Jesus Christ taught with authority. He lived by example. He spoke with purpose. Amen. Every step, every breath, every word was ordained by Holy Spirit. Every bit of it was perfectly executed through our Lord Jesus Christ so that we may live a life of abundance. Now, how do we live this life of abundance? Staying rooted. Hallelujah. Rooted in Lord Jesus Christ. Meaning that just like the tree earlier, no matter what season comes our way, right? I ain't got nowhere to go. Lord Jesus Christ, you are all I have. I have nothing. Beloved church family, I stand before you. I have nothing. All I have is my Lord Jesus Christ. And praise God every breath who Holy Spirit is. Amen. Will you do that with me? Will you breathe? <sighs> Say it with me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Amen. And it's the fruits of Holy Spirit, the resurrection power of Holy Spirit. When we crucify these thoughts, when we crucify our actions. Amen. You know, sometimes there could be something that, 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 that takes place and either emotionally, physically, you want to lash out. You want to do something or maybe even say something. By the grace of God Almighty, Lord Jesus Christ gives us the anointing, the power to hold that thought captive. Amen? To hold that thought captive. But the beauty is not to just hold it, but to crucify, to cut that devil's head off in Jesus' name. All it takes is you calling out on Lord Jesus Christ. All it takes is for you to just choose to rejoice. Amen? I rejoice. Hallelujah. I thank you, Heavenly Father. This world is acting the way it is. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you saved me from all of this. I thank you, Father God, that you love me and that you're for me and you go before me. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that I am never alone, that I am your temple, that even as I touch, as I beat on my chest, hallelujah, even as I do this, I know, Holy Spirit, that I'm touching your body, your temple. This is your blood that runs through my veins, Father. Hallelujah. And glory to God. Watch the anointing of Holy Spirit flow through you. Amen. So say it, with, say it with me. I am planted in agape. Glory to God. Say it with me. I am rooted in Christ. Hallelujah. And say it with me. Holy Spirit fruit overflow within me. Amen. Glory to God. And once again, this is the life, death, and resurrection. This is the gospel as you see it on the screen. The gospel of peace. The gospel of Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel of agape. The gospel, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. And this is the victory. The victory is, is that we have peace for all of eternity. Amen. The victory is, is that you are in the palm of his hand. Amen. That you are in the palm of his of his hand. Say it with me. I am in the palm of God's hand. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In Romans 15, 13, and we're going to close with this. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power, and say it with me, of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace. Peace be with you. Amen. Now remember, it's a choice to rejoice that we are saved for all of eternity. 
Remember the picture. Lord Jesus Christ is at the throne, seated at the right hand of the Father. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ is seated at the throne. Amen. Holy Spirit resides in the throne of our hearts, in the Holy of Holies. We are His for eternity. We are His holy church. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ is coming back for us soon. And you could hear the messages and how Holy Spirit is preaching and teaching in what He wants to address to His holy church, to His people. Hallelujah. Now we need to be grounded in the gospel of peace. Amen. Remember, when that glorious day takes place, which will take place soon, we will be standing before our Creator. Just me and my God. I cannot blame anybody. I cannot point to anybody. I am accountable for me. But by the grace of God, I have a Savior. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And yes, on that glorious day, my Lord Jesus Christ, he'll say, well done, my faithful servant. Well, what Holy Spirit wants us to know now is that it's already taking place within the Holy of Holies. Holy Spirit is continuously, continuously encouraging us, lifting us up, right? Reminding us of what God went through on the cross, sacrificing his everything through Christ, reminding us, right? Reminding us of what Lord Jesus Christ went through, reminding us that Lord Jesus is in heaven, reminding us of the scriptures of the written word, reminding us of the testimony after testimony, reminding us that we're never going to be left alone. Why? Because Holy Spirit is here. Amen. We are his church. We are Holy Spirit's church. Right? Agape is our God and he loves us and he's head over heels in love with us. Amen? So listen to this because when God says, God of hope, fill you with all joy and peace, there is something though that we need to do in accountability. We have to trust in him. Do you trust in Lord Jesus Christ? Because remember the title of this message is peace be with you. Amen. But if your trust is not in the Holy One, Lord Jesus Christ, in Him alone, if your trust is maybe 80% there and 20% and there, or maybe 80% there, 15% there, and 5%, it cannot be like that. Our trust has to be in Lord Jesus Christ alone. Can I get an amen? And when your trust is in Lord Jesus Christ alone, this is God's promise. Because your feet is fitted now in agape. You are rooted in Lord Jesus Christ. And the, Ho the Holy Spirit anointing in you, His fruits, the fruits of Holy Spirit Himself, will overflow through your relationship in your worship life with Lord Jesus Christ. God promises you. God promises you that the hope, the hope that this world does not receive, does not get, cannot comprehend, the hope that a lot of people are just like, I don't get it. How in the world do you have this peace? How in the world are you living victoriously? How in the world are you not sick? It's all because of my trust in Lord Jesus Christ, 100%. Hallelujah, give God praise then. Hallelujah, glory to God. And when you trust Lord Jesus Christ, 100%, all of it, 100%, Lord Jesus, you are my master. You are my Lord and my Savior. You are the perfect one, agape who came from heaven, sent by the Father God to be born from Virgin Mary, lived a perfect life, fulfilling the law completely. Hallelujah, that you fulfilled the law. You fulfilled every detail that we put on ourselves because we were disobedient with God. And not only that, you were perfect to fulfill it, but then you took upon my sins so that I can freely have your identity, Lord. I'll tell you right now, family, this is being rooted in Lord Jesus Christ. You can feel the anointing, how you just, like a, just like a plant, just like a tree, right? An oak tree, a mighty oak tree. That's who you are in Christ. The roots just go down deep. That no matter what the season comes, right? No matter what the season comes, 
Whether it's hailing outside, whether there's winds, it don't matter. Why? Because you are rooted in the Holy One. You are rooted in faith Himself. Hallelujah. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. You are rooted in the fact that you know my God is a good and perfect Father. Look at what He did to love me. He sent Jesus to die for me. Look at what my Lord Jesus Christ did for me. He said, forgive me for doing that to him. Look at how my Holy Spirit loves me. He resurrected me and didn't leave me and lives in me. Hallelujah. When we live this way and we trust in him, get ready, family. Say with me, overflow. God promises that if you trust in him, I say that if now, that's a big if. 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 That's like a big but. Right? That's like a big but if you trust in him. Right? It's like a big but. But if you don't trust in him, then what happens? Right? What happens? I'll tell you what happens. Thoughts start getting out of control. Right? The flesh starts becoming weak. All because it's not being obedient to trusting in the Holy One. Trusting in Lord Jesus Christ so that Holy Spirit can... Agape, hallelujah, I know you said it, agape in Jesus' name, amen. That you may overflow with hope by the power of Holy Spirit. Say his name, hallelujah, Holy Spirit, amen. Glory to God. I pray that as this message of peace is spoken through the living word of Lord Jesus Christ, that the anointing power of Holy Spirit is just flooding you, hallelujah. I pray that... We welcome Holy Spirit. Praise God. Welcome Holy Spirit. If you weren't with us last night, I encourage you to look up last night's message. Welcome Holy Spirit. And just allow Holy Spirit's anointing to flood you. He is peace now. He is peace. Remember, let's go back real quick. It's by the power of Holy Spirit. The God of hope will fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him. Hallelujah. Do you trust in Lord Jesus Christ? Do you trust him to be perfect? Do you trust him to be worthy of all your praise? Do you trust him? Hallelujah. Do you trust him? You see, this trust is tested. And glory to God, when you trust Lord Jesus Christ 100%, you already passed. Amen? But if you don't trust Lord Jesus Christ, that's when the tempter, the devil, the evil one comes. And he wants to steal, kill, and destroy. That's what John 10.10 10 says. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy and destroy. What does he want to steal? He wants to steal your identity. He wants to kill hope. He wants to kill hope. And he wants to destroy worship. So he wants to steal your identity. He wants to kill hope in you so he can destroy your worship life. I say right now in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, no more. Amen. Say with me, wake up. Hallelujah. Wake up, church. Amen. Listen, when we speak this word, the word is released into the atmosphere. So glory to God, Holy Spirit is already dealing with a lot, you know, with a lot of souls right now. Amen. And as one body in Christ, when we say, wake up. Amen. Glory to God, Holy Spirit took you back to the garden. Right? When Lord Jesus Christ went to go pray. Listen, this is right the mo mo very moments before he was going to be handed over. And what did he tell his disciples? Keep watch. Right? Keep watch. Stay awake. Stay awake. Right? Right now, Holy Spirit's telling us that right now. Wake up. Stay awake. Holy Spirit is willing. Amen? And God warns us the flesh is weak. And I'm telling you, beloved church, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, the hour has come. Hallelujah. The trumpet is about to go off. Amen? And glory to God. I'm just so thankful. That we have all these souls repenting, calling on Lord Jesus, amen? Calling on Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Submitting to God, amen? You could, just, you could just hear all of heaven rejoicing. Glory to God. Will you rejoice, amen? Hallelujah. Let's give God praise, hallelujah. Glory to God. I just want to say thank you so much for joining us on this Sunday morning. I just want to say thank you as well for your, your, your heart of worship and giving. Thank you so much for helping Open Arms Community Church during this season. Hallelujah. Yes, we trust in God Almighty. He is our provider. And I thank God for generous brothers and sisters that bless God with their first fruits. Amen. 
And I just want to encourage you um, to go to OAC Church. Once again, that's OACchurch.com. And at OACchurch.com, there's an offering button there. And you can click on the offering and you can give online as well as far as your offering to worship the Lord. And I just want to say thank you so much above all for all your prayers, your worship life, blessing Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessing Holy Spirit. Allow, allowing his light to shine through you and your family. Glory to God. Listen, we serve God Almighty. Amen. God is a good and perfect father. Hallelujah. He is head over heels in love with us. Amen. And God promises that as we trust in Lord Jesus Christ, remember family, when your feet is fit, when your feet is fitted, right? Do that with me. Whether you're sitting down, if you're standing up, when your feet is fitted, amen, and you're ready, hallelujah, when you're ready, glory to God. God is saying, are you ready, my beloved child, amen? And the only way to be fitted, remember, is to just surrender completely to Lord Jesus Christ, to thank Lord Jesus Christ for what he already done did, amen? He done did it, hallelujah, agape means. I just want to say thank you so much once again. God gives you all the power from heaven. The authority is in you through Christ our Lord. Remember, you are the healing. You are the breakthrough. You are the miracle. You are the blessing because you are a beloved child of God. And don't you forget that. And don't you let anybody else tell you otherwise. It's all because Jesus Christ is Lord and Holy Spirit anointing lives in and through you. Amen. So you go and be the blessing. Hallelujah. I just can't wait to see you again. Miss you, church family. I love you so much. God bless you. I'll talk to you soon. Hallelujah. God bless you. Mwah.